So, let me see, what classes have I actually not done yet? As soon as it does, I'd slow, which uh, Hunter, Shaman, Rogue, and Priest. And Rogue is really freaking tough. Uh, you know what? Let's try Rogue. Um, I don't believe they can actually pull it off, but it's worth a shot. My theory in my head is that you can only really win if you do, like, a Mill Rogue or something along those lines. Um, the problem is that Mill Rogue if you try that kind of build, it's really bad in the early fights, and you do actually need to have a decent deck by, uh, I don't know, five runs in. Everybody who's been playing Hearthstone has also been trying a different game called Slay the Spire out, which is really, really, really similar to Dungeon Run. Valera, and then that one, also, giant. builds like Poison, which does damage over time, only works if you get lots of Poison cars. So it's like Milro. It only works if you get lots of Cold Light Oracles. Uh, so let's see. The starting cards aren't actually that bad for Rogue. Um, I'll just I'll kind of keep that hand. Turn two hero power is perfectly fine. Pit Snake is a card that I thought would have been better in Constructed than it actually turned out being. Um, Barely anybody ever played it. It was in the, well, what do you call it, the Archaeologist set? The one that had Bran and all those other overpowered legendaries, like the original Elise. And then it had Pit Snake, which is just basically a 2-1. Like, if you could give it charge, it would be way better in Hunter, I'm sure. Which is why it's not in Hunter. So probably deal damage here and then put it in the face, just being efficient. As if things matter in this first fight. There was actually one time where I almost managed to lose against one of these early fights, because if you let the board get too overkill, they can actually do a lot of damage. There's really no reason you should lose it, though. Um, as long as you're used to it. Or as long as you don't, like, start with Vanish and Assassinate as your opening hand. Maybe that's why Rogue is so bad. Those cards are awful. Like, Vanish is okay if you're doing Mill, but... Are you going to be doing Mill when your deck is random? I don't know. Doesn't seem like a good idea to me. So, Totem of the Dead, I found, has always been a trap. Um, you take this and then you never get off in the death battles. Maybe this time would be different. Who knows? Cadgar's Scrying Orb is your spells cost one less. In theory, sounds good, but rogue spells are always cheap to begin with, and I don't think you're gonna win with spells. Captured Flag is plus one plus one, which generally is really strong. It's like having a Kalith Seth played on turn one for free. So, I think we have to do Captured Flag. We do want to win. I could try the Death Battle thing. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> well, actually, these Death Battle cards aren't that good. Roll the Bones is surprisingly bad. Arphis is okay. Onyx Spellstone is only okay if you get a lot of Death Battle cards. Y you see what I mean? It would have been really bad. Oh my god. Lorewalker Cho? That's interesting. I've never thought about including Lorewalker Cho, let alone two of them. Um, Jades are probably the strongest way to go, especially with Eye of Black Claw. This looks really cute for the memes, but I don't think that's gonna work. Uh, Jade just seems really good. Oh, I should also pop open the deck truck. Okay, there you go. So, the idea from this point forward is going to be minions, lots of minions, and if I get more jades, I'm definitely going to take them, because jades are okay if you just have eye of black ball, but obviously the more jades the better. So it'll be like a bad jade droid, which is probably good enough to win. Watch your... I sense great power. So let's see. Come SI is a good card to keep. Deadly Poison Salvite. This would be better if we actually had something to combo with. Uh, is Jade Shuriken worth it? Let's see, what else could we even get? You know what, I'll keep, I'll keep all three. Pit Snake and Gilbin Stalker and Sinister Striker are not exactly what I would call ideal cards here. I guess another way you could try to win is like Mally Ghost Rogue, but it's just like Mill Rogue. Good luck building that. Uh, Dagger, for sure. I could actually hit him for one. Um, 
problem with Seriona is she actually has some pretty strong dragons if you let her get to the late game. Um, so you gotta do 15 damage before that, which is usually not pretty, not all that hard. Here I think I will go. use the dagger on her face. It's just, if you get cards like Alexstrasza being played by her, then that can become an issue. So I guess we'll just go for a lot of damage here. This J is actually a 2-2, two -two, thanks to the go. automatic LSF. Showing how strong Captured Flag really is, it is honestly one of the best uh, treasures you can put in your deck. Already paying for itself. Um, well, she did get some healing there. We'll play Gilbert as a 3-4. That's actually not bad, a 2-mana 3-4 stealth. Here we go. This would be really easy. And that's a thing that we don't like, so that's going away. And yeah, I guess that's it. So yeah, as I mentioned, she only has 15 HP, so it's usually pretty easy. It's just that dragons are a good board control kind of deck. Like, you get the dragon and operatives in there, and it's an issue. And yeah, she is a priest, technically. So let's see, do we have more jades? Probably not. Uh, Shaku and Onusugi Huckster are actually not bad. Caverns below sounds like it could work, but uh, we already have plus one plus one, so it's actually bad. Uh, King's Bane. King's Bane. I never thought about that type of throw. Probably not strong enough. You need too much synergy for that to work, really. I think a Thief is the way to go. That's a lot of extra cards to get. And extra cards are always going to have plus one, plus one on the stats anyway. Sheku's a three mana, three four. Yeah, I could see it. Maybe Sheku can even steal two cards. Valir versus Pathmaker Ham! Watch your back. Okay, so definitely keeping Shaco and probably keeping the Shaco too. She has mad bombers and dealing two damage and summoning a 2-2 two -two is really good against a mad bomb. So it's probably gonna be turn one pass, turn two hero power, turn three deadly poison, and Jade Shuriken. <laughs> So, we'll deal with power here. Uh, I'm not gonna attack because we're almost certain of using deadly poison. Well, maybe not actually. Maybe we just play a 3 4. Okay. It's better to hold on to it though. Like, if you haven't played a lot of rogue, um, it's often a good idea to hold on to power. Okay, so here we can definitely get a free card. By attacking face. So I like that. And we get what's on commander. I haven't seen that in a while. I say we steal a card and then we SI. That's pretty good. Let's see. Six minutes. Yeah, I mean that basically guarantees he's gonna die sooner. Or later. So I like this after that. Um, I think I will attack face here. I don't think next turn's gonna be deadly poison into anything. Or uh, this backstab anyway, so it's not really good. Blow something up. <laughs> okay, don't hit this twice, please. Okay, cool. No, his hero power does uh, two damage, split between two different enemies, so it's fine. Uh, it can never hit the same guy twice, so we'll backstab here. Um, probably do this and throw a three four at the board, or yeah, okay. I think we just want to win next turn, so the fact that this can get your van card not exactly relevant. That can be scary, <laughs> sometimes. Usually not when uh, Pathmaker Ham is the third fight, because you can get him later on. Like if uh, Mad Bomber hit that three times and he takes six, so you can add up, it can be kind of painful. Okay, uh, Wax Rager is already seeming really good. It's actually an insanely good card to put in your deck. Um, Emulum of Domination is not bad, but it's not really Wax Rager. 
And Vod of Roasting is downright suicidal. I would only try Vod of Roasting if you're playing Control Warrior or if you had the Amulet of Health that doubles your health. Wax Rager, easily the friend. option. No oh my god, so from. good. Double Jade, <laughs> double Eye of Black Pop. Uh, yeah, that's good. Yep, <laughs> no question there. So this Jade Rogue is already coming together. Three Eye of Black Paws, that is such an overpowered deck. So, yeah, the thing about these dungeon runs is sometimes you get a bad deck and you just die, and then sometimes all the cards fall in your favor. And this is looking like one of those times when everything just falls in my favor, so yeah, I lost a lot of times with Rogue, but sometimes you just get lucky, and sometimes that's what it takes. Kind of the same with, like, heroic mode if you're doing the, uh, old adventures like Black Rock Mountain. Uh, so this hand, that's a one mana 3-2. I think... Ah, that's tough. I think we don't want Deadly Poison, but that might be worth keeping. We do have two Undersea Hawksters. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, I meant to toss the Deadly Poison. It's not really a big deal, though. It's still a bad card for the opening hand. It's just... I would like to get a 2-drop. Though, uh... This particular fight out of Yari has always been really easy. I fight without fear. I forgot to play the, uh, one mana 3-2. Whoops. I'm not even really sure what she's supposed to do. It's like, okay, gain a bunch of armors, so then what? That came before. You can shield slam or something? Um, okay. Here we will use the Jade Shuriken and pretend like that was all planned. Okay, wild growth. So, if she survives till turn 10, maybe she can do something, I don't know. Ultimate Infestation? Innovate. There's a lot of ramp in that pack. A little bit disturbing. Okay, so... I think I'm just gonna... No, I should play that 4-5. Should I? Whatever, I'll just heal power. I don't really think there's that much of a rush. Yeah, I, I thought there would be an iron golem in there, but I don't really see why. It's just kind of okay. So you have a five mana four seven. What do you do? Uh, this can be really good with Aya now. Um, so let's see, assassinate seems okay. Can I kill it without that? Let's see. Uh, that's three, five, seven. Yep. Here okay. we go. That's pretty much perfect. <laughs> This guy's toast. Here we go. So it's like, sure, if you have three or more armor, you can attack with it, but it's just a it's a four mana three six time. It's not like it's a special card or anything. And yeah, I'm aware that in constructed that sometimes Jade Druids do play it because uh, they're very defensive. You can use the the crew thing and it thins attack a bit. And all that, but the card itself is not really that strong in its own. So here I offer the solution. Just get a bunch of jades. Jade counter automatically one higher than before because of that very nice captured flag. Hmm, looks like I might not be able to Oh, okay, I guess I will still be able to. I would have thought that that swag would have gone on the IO, but I guess you didn't want to create extra guys. Okay, yep, this is gonna be brutal for me. Creating a lot more mistakes here. I actually thought that that triggered immediately. Uh, I guess I'm getting my cards mixed up. It copies the death rattle, it doesn't immediately happen. So the deck does play Ultimate Infestation. But what's the point? Like, the rest of the cards aren't good. Look at this stuff, it's just a bunch of defensive garbage. Like, if he was quest through it, I could kind of understand it, but probably gonna be an assassinate turn. Uh, let's see, was that from his deck or his class? Class, okay. I guess we go Power of the Wild, because that gives us, uh, at least a plus three. And I guess we'll play it right now. Kinda need to end the, uh, match before too long. A rogue with no draw, not exactly what I would call a deck that lasts a long time. Could vanish to replay Aya, that's kinda cute. 
Um, you die now. I think what I do is straight the Aya, hit face. Just play what I have. And if I absolutely have to, I guess I can play Vanish and hit him with them. I, th I think I'll still be able to beat this. But he's getting surprisingly hard to kill now. So I guess we actually want to vanish here. That's surprising. I didn't think vanish would have much peace. Just because that's a 7 mana minion. Gotta get rid of it. Um, and now we just replace it and we're back to where we were. And that's why vanish is not good unless you're playing a very specific kind of deck. Maybe I should have just killed it. Oh my god. Am I gonna lose this? Maybe he'll deck himself. Mighty are the angels. He's gonna fatigue himself first. This is very scary. I would be very sad if I actually lose this. <laughs> okay, I got saved. And uh we'll play that. Is this pass, I guess? Where shall I strike? Ultimate infestation is a pretty good card, I have to admit. Now will he trade a really good face? Okay, I'm okay with that. So we definitely want this to die, so that we can get another card to play this turn. That's a pretty good one. <laughs> you wanna buy a fun so game? trade here. And then we'll play Soul the Forest, giving us four two twos in the future. Finish that trade, we get one of those now. Hit base, play the dagger, and yep, that's basically all I can do. But I think that will be enough damage to win. Yeah, Yasera's not gonna help him. That's a pretty random card to put in the deck. Unless he has like uh Deathwing Dragon Lord. But that combo never really works. So we're just gonna ignore Yasera here. Even if he plays like the Aceras Awakens, there should be enough damage on the board to finish this. Also, I don't think I can afford to waste too much time with Aceras. Mine, mine, mine. Okay, that card's pretty terrible. So, it's just supposed to be a ramp to it that has a gain 3 hero power. Gain 3 on the hero power. It would be a lot scarier if it was a Jade Druid, but I, I think they didn't want to actually put something so boring into the uh, dungeon run. I wish I could get the Wax Rager too. That's like 5 damage a turn permanently. Great for trading, by the way. And that's going to be enough damage to finish them. So that was a lot tougher than expected. Oh my, my ancestors. Okay, loot, can we get more IS? Yes, we can. Um, yeah. <laughs> when you start Jade, you finish Jade. And that's called a boring, easy to craft synergy deck. It's like, oh, how to build a dragon priest? You put dragons in your deck. How do you build Jade Druid? You put Jades in your deck. It's not rocket science. So that's four IS now. Really strong. As long as they can pretty much survive to get enough IS on the board. I should be able to beat pretty much anyone. Watch your back. Okay, so Pit Snake Shaku. I think I want to cause the poison. Minions are better than a deadly poison because remember, they all have plus one plus one, which is super good. Though admittedly, uh, with all these death battles. If I had actually known ahead of time that I would have gotten all those death battles, the Totem of the Dead would not have been bad either. Maybe even have been slightly better. But you don't play around what you might get, you play around with what you have. Like for instance, um, I probably wouldn't take Reno Jackson in Arena, even if it was the first pick, because it's kind of relying on you. Never getting a duplicate. You die now. Okay, so we'll just yeah. I see no reason to trade here. He'll do it for me. I mean, he's actually going to get a hate drop off of that if he trades, which yeah, anyway. that's a bit scary. Uh, what's it going to be? Hmm. 
That is really scary. I think we trade Aya and uh, trade Shuriken. And now I have to actually kill this because uh, Zero 07 is a lot less scary than the 7 so I'll finish that off now. And uh, now he has no boards, so I think we're just win. This guy is ridiculously easy as well. Okay, rot face. Do we care about that? No, we're just gonna assassinate it. Finally, a good assassinate target. Hey, lights out. Buy one. Free card. Wait, did that just give me nothing? No, it gave me this. Why didn't Why didn't the animation show? That's pretty weird. Okay, whatever. Hold on. Will the animation show this time? Yeah. Hey, I thought something was wrong with the game. Okay, where are we at? I think we're at like the seventh match. So, or maybe it's the last one actually. So, do we want three random secrets, small backpacks, or crystal gem? I don't really think we need to ramp into anything. The cap is six, but I would like to draw Aya faster. I think drawing Aya faster is better than three random secrets, so I'll go with the backpack, surprisingly. And more jades. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's any question there. If you start jade, you finish jade. So, uh, two, two more fights. Okay. Valera versus Black Seed. Watch your back. Something wicked um, grows here. Mm, I'm not gonna keep I'm not gonna keep Aya. We have two extra draws anyway. I'll probably get an Aya this fourth and in the deck. So I'd rather try to get some early game cards. <laughs> Drawing two extra cards at the first turn, that reminds me so much of Slay the Spire. The, uh, the zero cut the silent there that starts with that as a passive from the very first level. Okay, that was pointless. Oh, do I actually want to kill that? I think I super do, because Greater Evolution really screwed me in my last one. At, at this point, as the eighth match, or seventh match, whatever this is, Transform a random uh, transform a targeted minion into one that costs three more. So that becomes a five drop, and I do not like that. Besides, it's a three one into a four five kind of. You so want to buy up? Arguably worth it, even if he didn't have that. Okay, so he's gonna get it anyway. That is annoying. You gotta pay up. Luckily, uh, that's not a very good one. So we have to kill it though. Everything has to be killed. The turn it comes out, if possible. I think I actually want the living roots here for damage. Or do we want earth and scales? Let's see, that's plus two damage, plus one damage, this is two immediately. I think it's living roots, so it also is a good combo target. Actually, a tough choice then. Um, I don't think the armor is as relevant though, so I really should think that it's just dealing extra damage. Poison seeds is interesting. Um, that's not good. I guess we'll have to kill one and deal with it. As long as he doesn't have an call for unstable evolution, that should be okay. Well, actually. <laughs> That's almost better than Unstable Evolution. Oh my god. I want to banish that so badly. Oik. Yeah, yeah, I just need to banish it. Okay, yeah, next turn's gonna be a sick banish turn. Here we go. So, you know what? I think I'm not even gonna play anything. Just because uh, I'm vanishing 100%, and I don't actually want him to trade more. Oh, that's so sick, he doesn't even get to evolve many. Wow, vanish was actually useful! Okay, vanish, easy game. 
Okay, so, <laughs> yeah. Good luck having three mana. Is he gonna evolve that for real? No. Okay, of course not. Uh, Wax Rager is a good card to get out. I think I is slightly better though. Golems are a girl's best friend. <laughs> That's never gonna be useful, so I'll just do the three damage now. Sinister Strike. How is that even a thing? It's pretty spooky. I do want to kill as many of these guys as I can. Ideally, not the Treants, though. Here okay, we so go. one's going there for sure. We want to kill that. We want to kill that, but we could do it like this. this guy's now we can dagger two. I'm actually okay if he decides to evolve one of those Treants, just because that means he's gonna never get that mana crystal back. I don't think he'll do it anyway. The AI must know that's a stupid idea. Now evolving that, that's amazing, and he's totally gonna do that. But we have the Wax Elemental, which is infinite 6 damage. Let's see, so, can someone a copy of this minion? Uh, I would rather have this than a copy of that one. Okay, so from here on it's gonna be easy. I, I don't think there's anything you can evolve to that would actually scare me that much. Unless he evolves all three of them at once. Do I have lethal? Uh, 18, 22, 26, uh, 29, not quite, so I'm just gonna try. Uh, just get more Jade stuff out there, and we'll be good. Do I have lethal this turn? 18, 22, 24, 27, 31, 32, yeah. You die now! You die now! Buy one! There is no far below. Not by far below, you mean? Fight, I'm sure. Okay, give us more jade. Yeah, of course I'm gonna take that. Yeah, just overwhelm the board with jades, why not? A <laughs> lava filled chamber? Oh, oh, okay. Actually, there's two more fights. My bad. Okay, guys, I'm back to finish the dungeon run from earlier, and now we're up to the seventh boss with four Ayas in the deck. So this definitely looks like it should be a decent shot at winning. I mean, it's easy to lose on the eighth fight, don't get me wrong. Lava Field Chamber, I remember not being too bad, but that, I think, was more with a spell-based deck, and this deck is completely minion-heavy, so this could be completely different than the last time I tried it. Um, that said... There are a lot of jades in the deck, so I think it's going to have enough stuff to get through whatever fire effects they happen to have. Um, let's see, how many- oh my god, there's five jade swarmers in the deck, that's ridiculous. Okay, so three jade shurikens, five jade swarmers, three jade spirits, and four eye of black paws. Yeah, that should be enough jades for just about anything. Alright, a jade swarmer, that's good. So it's not, e it's not even just a 1-1 one -one that summons a 1-1? One -one? It's actually a 2-2 two -two that summons a 2-2. Two -two. That's pretty good. Um, so we will just keep this hand, I guess. I can pass turn 1 and then turn 2. If I have a minion, it gets Jade Shuriken. If they don't have a minion, Jade Swarmer. Seems to be pretty good. And we'll draw two cards anyway, so works out pretty well. Ah, one Aya and another Jade Swarmer. So having that extra draw at the beginning should really make it easy to curve out here. Oh my god. <laughs> there is so many jades in this deck. Oh, what's that do again? Oh, right. So I guess any jade swarmer actually just dies. So it's, it's just like two mana summon a jade. Which is fine. Oh, that also affects his minions, so. 
Uh, pretty ridiculous. Um, do I want a 3-3 three, three Jade, or do I want uh, a 3-1? I think I'll go with the 3-1 here. Hey, hey, you wanna buy a funnel cake? That is such a ridiculous hero power. Oh, backstab is never gonna be useful here. That's kind of a problem, I never even thought of that one. Um, okay, so to kill that, I either need the hero power or I need to Jade Shuriken. So we'll do a Jade Shuriken. Should have traded first. Okay, uh, that's not too bad. So because of the captured flag, the Jade counter is already effectively up to four? Not really, because. I mean, that's a fake counter, but effectively we're making 4 force. And yeah, it doesn't really matter how much stuff he has, because uh, sooner or later these are just going to be big enough to survive anything. Guess we can play that too. So with a deck like this, I'm not actually that worried. I mean, he has a lot of removal, but so what? I mean, that's the thing about Jades, they just keep going. Just a bit loud right now. This last act of what did he play? Oh, both of five left. <laughs> no one plays that card. Um oh I can actually backstab it. I thought that was gonna be a little useless. And a grim destiny. Probably just trade these two. Maybe I'll copy that while I can. Play that. Save a couple minions. Hero pump? Nope, just fine. Okay, blood lost. That's not too bad. Is that gonna be lethal next turn? So let's see. 12, 19, 23. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> it's just flame strike, though. <laughs> and look at those jades, they're absolutely enormous. Do actually, is there a lethal here? Uh, 17 plus 7 is 24, plus 9 is 33, uh, plus 3 is 36. Oh, I almost messed that up. So if I did this right, it should be exact. Yeah. yeah, that's not a very tough boss, especially for like, the 7th one. I mean, I'm not exactly sure how it's supposed to eat you, other than defeating epic thing you play. So I feel pretty confident going into the 8th fight. Let's see here. Um, Orb of Destruction might be pretty good. A second Wax Razor would also be good. Uh, definitely not Golden Cobalt, though, that's for sure. Um, destroy two of your opponent's mana crystals and they discard two cards. Keeping the opponent from playing anything does seem pretty good. And... A lot of the bosses can actually deal with Wax Rager. For instance, if we go up against the Beholder, she can just destroy and silence all of your minions. Uh, Hoggle Waggle can also do that. I'm actually liking the Order of Destruction here, so I'll try that. Whew. <laughs> Five higher Black Paws. That is ridiculous. And it's the Darkness. Okay. So... As long as they get the Jade counter off, it should be pretty easy to trade against the 5-5s. Five is there anything to be afraid of in this? Like, I guess he'll Psychic Scream, which sends all the minions back into the deck, but I don't have a problem with replaying cards like Jade Spear and Eye of Black Pot. I think there's not enough removal in the deck of the Darkness to actually stop a deck like this. I think this deck just inevitably beats the Darkness. So, this should be an easy Rogue one, I think. Watch. As long as they get rid of that Sinister Strike. What an awful card. I mean, in the context of this deck. So he'll get 5-5s five every of turn. Of course, uh, with these Luminous Candles, we can destroy any of those at any time. Uh, we have 50 health to play with, and I think the only way he can actually do damage is through directly attacking the minions. So, I'm not too worried here. Uh, I'll probably just take the 5 damage to start. Okay, that's a 2-4 that 
also attacks whoever it damages him. Um, so do I want the 2-2 that death battles? Yeah, I do. Because that sets up Unearth the Raptor. Now, the question is, am I gonna Luminous Candle here, or am I gonna take an extra 12 damage? I think I'm gonna play it here. The only thing I need to do is survive long enough for the Jades to work. Ooh, Wax Rager versus Unearth Bender. I think I actually go with the Wax Rager just because it's infinite value. And we'll destroy those Dark Spawns. So, with the Wax Rager, I can trade into the Dark Spawn every single turn until he finds a removal for this, which I do know oof, actually exists within his deck. That's, uh, that's pretty bad for me. Is he gonna attack the face with that? Hopefully? Okay, so it ended up not mattering. That's okay. Um, so, how does... hold on. Sudden Betrayal when a minion attacks your hero. So if it needs to attack the hero, then I'm okay with doing this. Um, and we get another Max, Max Ranger, and that's why that card's really good. So, what do we want to do next? Um, thinking getting two minions on the board is better than one Jade Spirit. Especially because of the Jade counter. So... I will throw this and put this out on the board. And I'll just, I'll just hit that. Now I'm not sure if he has evasion or sudden betrayal. I think that deck plays with evasion. And tomb. Oh my god. He stole my wax rager. That's pretty annoying actually. Um... So let's see here. I have to get rid of that. I can just do two damage there. And get more stuff. So do I want a random card or do I want a J Golem? I think I definitely want more J Golems. Because he has my Wax Rager now, uh, if he plays that against me it could be a problem, to be honest. Because he keeps coming back and I don't have silence, so there's really no way to get rid of it. I just have to take the 5 damage and turn. Okay, so he's like extreme there, which is I guess it's fine for me. It doesn't bother me too much and leads into a good eye turn. I do have the Vanish, which I can play against the Wax Rager to make me play it, but not the best. Okay, Shadow Ball, so. Oh! For some reason, all the dungeon bosses refuse to kill Aya. I mean, I know I summons another guy, but is it really better to Shadow Ball a 3 3 than a 6 4 like that? Okay, we'll just get more Jades here. So now they're becoming 5-5s. Five uh, pretty much this fight's going how I thought it would. It's just he stole my Wax Rager and that's kind of an unexpected thing. Oof, second Psychic Spin. And a couple of those are not cards I actually want to draw. I'll just play this to get a 5-5. Five five. Uh, the two damage is kind of... Okay, so it is a vision. Hand's looking pretty bad, and I don't have a lot of draw. But I, he should be out of psychic screams, I think he only has two of them. So, oof, mind control. Wow, brutal. I might have to, like, banish you. I think I will, because it makes sense. Uh, yeah. Does that mill on the card? No. Uh, yep, okay, we'll just do that. I thought he'd be able to get more damage on his face, but it's true, he does really have a lot of control cards. I'm just, you know, really hoping somehow the Wax Rager doesn't come out soon. Uh, Vanish is about the only card that can deal with that. I might actually do so, to be honest. Um, do I lose this Dark Spawn? Yeah, I guess I'll trade while I can. This destroys all Dark Spawns, that includes my own. So, I'll hold off this thing. Uh, I can take 10, that's not a big deal. Okay, so let's see, does he have more mind controls, more psychic screams? I'm really hoping not. Okay, I can deal with Shadow Leaf. Yes. Painful. Okay, so I'll go face here and... Yeah, okay, I should. And I'll destroy all of those. Put out an IO. 
Jades are getting huge now, which is really necessary. I need them to be big. Let's see, do I have any way of getting cards, really? Oh, you got the wax ranger. That's that's bad. Let me change your mind. So if he wants to go face, I will die in five turns. There's nothing I can do about that. No. I guess I'll hit that. Could be he has like a third side screen. Maybe we'll put it back in my deck. So. If he keeps going face, it's not going to matter about cards, so I might just have to face him, and that's a losing proposition. I really wish I didn't play this now that I think about it. That was like one of the main ways I could have lost. And he's hitting the face. Not good. Okay. This guy's tough. I'm clear the board, but then I don't have any other. Option for clearing dark spots. Well, I think I'll pass. Like, I would need to draw something really good here. Oh, he actually traded. Okay, if he draws into fatigue, it is possible to win like that. Okay, and here we can make that trade. Lord of Destruction. That could slow him down a bit. So let's see, what does he discard? Nothing wrong. Right <laughs> it really is going to be that Wax Rager that makes me lose the game. Ouch. Shadow of Death too. And he has Tristing Nethers too. This is just not really a good duck against the darkness, is it? Uh, unfortunately, even if he melts himself, it's not gonna matter here. Yeah, that's it. Here we go. Oh, that's sad. I got destroyed by my own card. So this is one. Damn. I mean, if you watch the whole thing, you see what I mean? Like, sometimes you just get really unlucky. The deck was sick, but it just wasn't the right matchup, and I gave him a Wax Rager. Honestly, the Wax Rager was a huge mistake on my part. Um, playing it, not having it in the deck. 